Chapter 63 Who is this who comes from Edom, from the city of Bozrah, with his clothing stained red? Who is this in royal robes, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I, the Lord, announcing your salvation. It is I, the Lord, who is mighty to save. Why are your clothes so red, as if you have been treading out grapes? I have trodden the winepress alone. No one was there to help me. In my anger I have trampled my enemies as if they were grapes. In my fury I have trampled my foes. It is their blood that has stained my clothes. For the time has come for me to avenge my people, to ransom them from their oppressors. I looked, but no one came to help my people. I was amazed and appalled at what I saw. So I executed vengeance alone. Unaided I passed down judgment. I crushed the nations in my anger and made them stagger and fall to the ground. I will tell of the Lord's unfailing love. I will praise the Lord for all he has done. I will rejoice in his great goodness to Israel, which he has granted according to his mercy and love. He said, They are my very own people. Surely they will not be false again. And he became their Savior. In all their suffering he also suffered, and he personally rescued them. In his love and mercy he redeemed them, he lifted them up and carried them through all the years. But they rebelled against him and grieved his Holy Spirit. That is why he became their enemy and fought against them. Then they remembered those days of old, when Moses led his people out of Egypt. They cried out, Where is the one who brought Israel through the sea with Moses as their shepherd? Where is the one who sent his Holy Spirit to be among his people? Where is the one whose power divided the sea before them, when Moses lifted up his hand, establishing his reputation forever? Where is the one who led them through the bottom of the sea? They were like fine stallions racing through the desert, never stumbling. As with cattle going down into a peaceful valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. You led your people, Lord, and gained a magnificent reputation. Lord, look down from heaven and see us from your holy, glorious home. Where is the passion and the might you use to show on our behalf? Where are your mercy and compassion now? Surely you are still our Father. Even if Abraham and Jacob would disown us, Lord, you would still be our Father. You are our Redeemer from ages past. Lord, why have you allowed us to turn from your path? Why have you given us stubborn hearts, so we no longer fear you? Return and help us, for we are your servants and your special possession. How briefly your holy people possessed the holy place, and now our enemies have destroyed it. Lord, why do you treat us as though we never belonged to you? Why do you act as though we had never been known as your people? 